Daddy, one day when I grow up, I want to discover two new radioactive elements, learn a whole bunch about the atom, win two Nobel Prizes, and settle down with a dashing Frenchman that will one day die in a tragic traffic accident. Marie Curie was born Mania Sklodowska on November 7, 1867, in Poland. She had four brothers and sisters, and her family was very poor. All the Sklodowska children did well in school, but Mania was especially gifted. She went on to study at Sorbonne, the University of Para. That's when Pierre Curie entered her life. He was her physics and chemistry professor at the University of Paris. So what drew you to Marie? Well, when I saw her in my classroom, I knew she was different. Her interest in magnetism threw me in a moth to an open flame. Don't you mean like iron to a magnet? Maybe. The two got married and after that hardly ever left the laboratory. With a new scientific partner and husband, Marie Curie began the work she is best known for. She discovered two new elements, radium and polonium. Both were radioactive. So, I heard you listen to the elements. <laughs> yes. And in 1896, I did my thesis on what I later coined be a radioactivity. Oh, really? Yeah, yes, I, I learned that it, the radioactivity in compounds and elements didn't come from the compounds and materials themselves, but, but from the atom. It, it was very smart indeed, very, just very. Um, also, I learned that Atoms are divisible and, and they can be broken down. The, the silly name group scientists of the day, that is not what they thought before I came. That's not very nice. Yeah, well, I'm a woman. They weren't nice to me. Ah. Of course, I named Polonium for Poland, the motherland. And radium? It was radioactive, you insolent child! Marie had a hard time drawing the line between family life and her work. Hmm. What are you doing, honey? Just making dinner, darling. Not only did her work extend to the kitchen, but also to her children. Every night during their infancy, she would measure their head sizes and record them. She even gave her children radium to use as nightlights. Mama, I can't sleep. It's too dark. Hold on, honey. I'll, I'll get you a, a tube of radium that you can use as a nightlight. It's, it's rather nice. It's got this pretty glowing sensation. It's numbing, too. <sighs> Mm, pretty colors. In fact, one of the main causes of death for the Curie family was the nightlight. Unfortunately, this love story ended when Pierre was killed in a tragic traffic accident, but not before they had two children, Irene and Eve. Irene quickly took to the lab life, later winning a Nobel Prize, while Eve had other interests. With Pierre's death came scandal, by the way of fake love letters. So, what's this about... She was writing love letters to my husband. Are you kidding Stop me? Stop it! One at a time. She was writing love letters to my husband. Really? I think that you just published fake letters in the newspaper because you're jealous that I'm successful and you're just a wife of someone successful. My husband's dead and I'm mourning over him. I don't know what I did wrong. I was a good wife, and then I found these love letters. So I did what any respectable French woman would do. I published them in the newspaper. Marie fell gravely ill, but no matter how many doctors she went to, nobody could figure out what the cause was. Later, we learned that Marie died of blood cancer in 1934, caused by the very thing she loved the most, her precious radium. Her work with radioactivity and the divisibility of atoms greatly contributed to today's understanding of the atom.